Inspections are digital forms that technicians use to quickly and easily answer a list of questions, typically for safety protocols, equipment maintenance, or other audits and assessments. Inspections are included with Dynamics 365 field service and fit perfectly into the work order process. Administrators can quickly create inspections with a simple drag and drop interface using different question formats. Then after the inspection is assigned to a technician, he or she can view and fill out the inspection on their mobile phone, tablet, or Windows device. Inspections can also be downloaded offline and filled out even when there is no internet access. And when data is synced to the server, it is stored in Microsoft's Common Data Service. Let's take a look at creating and filling out inspections. The first step is to create an inspection. Log into Dynamics 365 Field Service, then go to Settings, then Inspections. From here, create a new inspection. First, name your inspection and enter a description if desired. In this example, we'll create an inspection for heating and cooling assets. Using the toolbox to the right, click and drag a question type to add it to the inspection. Regardless of question type, enter the name of the question as you want it to appear for technicians. You have the option to make a question required, meaning a technician must answer it to save. And other options are to copy the question, add more details, and delete the question. For this first question, we will make it an entity lookup to Dynamics 365. Next, we'll add a date and time question to the survey. From here, we'll add more question types like dropdowns, checklists, and radio groups. All of these are similar, but checklists allow the technician to select multiple answers. In addition, we'll add a number question to record refrigerant levels. Using the advanced option, we can set a number range. Next, we'll add a question to upload files or take pictures. And then finally, we'll add a generic text field for the technician to enter more details if needed. Then save your inspection. The preview tab will allow you to see and interact with the inspection form from the end user's point of view, but the answers will not be saved here in the preview tab. If everything looks okay, then select publish in the top. In order to add this inspection into the work order process, we'll need to create a service task type. In settings, go to service task types and create a new one. The service task can have the same name or a different name than the inspection. Add an estimated duration if you want the service task to affect the work order duration later on. Toggle the Has Inspection field to True. Then find the inspection you just published in the lookup. Then save and close. Next, let's add the inspection service task to a work order. Here is a work order that has already been created. We can see the account and the specific building location of the job, as well as more details below. Go to the service task section and add the service task that you just created that has the inspection. You'll see the inspection form appear below. If applicable, add the customer asset the inspection is related to by going to the Service Task Relates To section. This helps build service history. Then save and close. Next, we will want to go to the schedule board and assign this work order to a technician who can complete it. Now let's complete the inspection from the technician's perspective. 
log into the Dynamics 365 Field Service mobile app as a technician user. Go to the Bookings tab to see your scheduled work orders. You should see the work order that you just scheduled. Select the work order and then go to the Service Tasks. Here the technician will answer the inspection questions. The interface is very easy for technicians to enter information. Most of the time, it is simple taps and swipes as options appear. For files and pictures, the technician can take a picture with the device's camera or select a photo that's already been taken in the device's photo library. When everything is finished, the technician will mark the status as complete, enter a result, either pass or fail, though this is optional, and then save the inspection. Back in Dynamics 365, Managers can see the completed work order. In the service task, they will see the finished inspection with the technician's answers for review. It's important to note that inspection answers are stored in Microsoft's Common Data Service. In this example, the inspection related to a customer asset that our organization tracks. If you go to the asset record, you will see the completed work order is shown, and this helps us manage service history. Heading back to the original inspection, there are more features that help organizations, like the ability to revise the inspection, export it as a PDF, as well as the ability to add logic and version management.